Okay, here we go. Episode 19 of the Untitled God is Dope podcast, or the God is Dope Untitled podcast, however you want to claim it, name it. Um, I'm here with my counterparts, Jay Buzal and Tori McKissick. Um, and we're going to try to make this a short podcast, you know, just get straight to the point. Um, you want to talk about the shoes first, or you want to talk about the direction we're going for the next quarter? Let's talk about the direction. Let's. This can be last, right? Yeah. And this can fall into the plans. Yeah, uh, probably not. Tori want to be like <laughs> ABC, oh, one, well, two, three. Layups. <laughs> right. yeah, like you said, man, we could do hit our goals off of three shirts, five shirts, and play with other stuff. Not even yeah. for the cool factor. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. De- we definitely gonna do these. But I'm just, I'm just making a joke. Tori probably it's probably more of a headache than anything. Definitely is. A, it's a lot of size, but let's talk about those goals. Okay, so you want to talk about what, like how the goals came about? Um, yeah. So first, it was. In the last like two months, the first like big goal conversation was we have to do a hundred million in the next year. Yeah, in the next twelve months. So then we you know, we broke up the numbers and the how how can that happen? And it it seemed like it's something that can happen, but then I think the conversation turned into like a, a scaling it like more more like, like reasonably, I, I guess. well, the thing I, I take the the analogy I used was like weightlifting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you're lifting weights, and you had let's say you got the bar plus two plates, two forty five pound plates. Yeah, that's what one thirty five. Yeah. So you lifting one thirty five, right? And it's like okay, when you first started, it was hard. You could barely get to ten, right? And then when, once you you know you continue to lift, you like oh this is easy. You can do fifteen with like. Like it ain't nothing. So I want to I want to go quarter by quarter that same way. So instead of doing starting say let's go let's go from two million a month to eight million a month. I was like, what if we just scaled up to eight million quarter by quarter? So the first quarter we talked about doing three million for three months straight. Yeah. And in the past we would do three million, then say, oh, we did three. We probably can do five. Yeah. And we, we would, you know, get close to those goals, but it would always be something that would stop us. Like, at, for instance, we're stopped now for the past two months. And for perspective, our biggest month was May. 3.2 million. Yeah, 3.2 million. Yeah. So we're trying to take what, what we know we can do and, and iron it out like seamless, perfect execution, no, no hiccups or delays or... Yeah, customer right. service issues that people are complaining about, like, and then move up from there. So it'll be three months of three million. Yeah, three months of three million. The goal is the first month for it to, you know, for us to probably barely touch it, like barely get three million. The second month, we should probably get there. Um, like, it should be relatively easy. Like, okay, we figured it out. By the third month, I technically want to do three million in three weeks. And then that last week, you know, it's like, all right, cool. That way it can show us that the next month, the first month of the, of the next quarter, that month will be for that $4 Four, million. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then the next thing after that, it goes next quarter. is it's, it's $3 million first quarter, $4 million second quarter, $5 million a month third quarter, $6 million a month fourth quarter. And that's $54 million, $54 million. $54 million total for the year. And this is like starting now kind of thing. Cause starting tomorrow. It's, it would be like we're talking about quarters. We're not talking about the actual quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. Well, yeah. Because it's like a year. I think, I think, it's, I think it's based off of whenever the – like fiscal. It's like some, what's, what does fiscal mean? I think like what, the fiscal year for a company. It's like when that company decides that's the year. You know what I'm saying? Like look up fiscal. I'm not – I think the fiscal year is like – right? Whenever that company starts their year, what's the definition? A fiscal year is used in government accounting, which varies between countries and for budget purposes. It also used in financial reporting. That wasn't very helpful. Um, yeah, I guess I guess you're right. Yeah. Okay. So 
So August first, I know New Year's. Like, yeah, August first is, is, is New Year's. Like this is New Year's Eve. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. Yeah, I guess because <laughs> it says the government's fiscal year goes from October first through September thirtieth. So I guess yeah, you just, just that's how the, the government name. does it, and yeah, you just do it. Yeah. So. Yeah, and you know, Tori did some numbers, you know, to try to figure out how it, um, you know, how we could get there seamlessly. And before we can, you can talk about the differentiation between like the five ninety nine, trying to get there on five ninety nine, or trying to get there off what nine ninety nine, yeah, and how it was like a difference in thirty thousand orders for the month. Right. So. Like we know we can sell five ninety nine shirts like with no problem. Mm -hmm. So we were um we dropped our prices at one point to nine ninety nine, and then we had the formula doing five ninety nine. So all the numbers originally came up with was a twenty dollar average order. Someone bought two shirts and shipping coming out to be twenty dollars with five ninety nine. Around about. Mm -hmm. So on a monthly basis that was hundred and fifty thousand orders. But with us doing nine ninety nine is 30,000 orders less. So I would rather put the pressure on us designing more stuff, marketing it versus having 30,000 more orders on the fulfillment side. So like that's, that's kind of the numbers looking at. If we can sell it at a higher price, we'll be able to sell less units and make it easier to hold staff and it'd be easier to hit the goals along a long time. And then it's right. basically trying the hardest thing first and if we can't hit it, we always know we got the five ninety nine in our back pocket. Right. And the reason we're so confident in the nine ninety nine is because these are new items. Right. You know, like before we talked about like, man, five ninety nine is not doing what it used to do or, you know, we feel like it could do better. And I think we forgot that we raised the price of shipping. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we talked about it and it's like, but the fact that we raised the price of shipping, I think that I think that took a toll on people ordering at nine ninety nine as much as they were. Did we determine how much we actually raised it? It was fifty cents. Cause I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it really? was like it was fifty cents. Yeah. So you went I, back to a you went back to an order from. I'm just when I first like, came in, like I was doing one mission and stuff, and I like screenshotted the uh, shipping rates at that point, and it was like five seventy five. So now, yes, yeah, fifty cent increase. Cause I, I I remember the conversation. We was on the phone. He was like, at first it said seventy five cents. Cause we were trying to like almost make up the whole dollar, or right. like make up a dollar. But he was like seventy five cents. You know, we say go like say something about price is always like we end up the end of the conversation coming down about two three notches. So right. it was like a dollar, and then when seventy five cents, and we end up selling on fifty cents more. Okay. Than before. Well, I mean. All right, if, if that's the case, then I guess six twenty five not that bad. But yeah, I, I I think we can do it. We're dropping new products because we looked at last month. Raised that April April first. Yeah. I'm just gonna find an order from like somewhere that. around there. I think we um. And then we looked at um earlier. Me and Jay looked at the conversion rate. Sue is actually higher right now than. Like ever, ever before, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's at the at the six ninety nine though. That's at the five ninety nine. But I think we we, we did, looked at we multiple yeah, yeah reports. We did b before five ninety nine also. Okay. It, wow. we, we, what we were comparing was this year's total versus last year's total, right. and then we broke up this year into like pre five ninety nine and post five ninety nine, and it yeah the conversion rate right now is average is like eight. All right. Which is like like really last high. year, it was only, like, it was surprised, it was like 4.4, 4, right? Yeah. Like, which is like, I didn't know it was that low. But. I think I think it's probably closer to six. It's like, there was the last two months of the year we were using that oh, yeah, upsell app, that. and it made it so the conversions weren't tracked, like on Shopify's system. It was like the Zipify upsell. So that's, the, that's when like, it would say our conversion rate was like 1% or 2%, but it like, that wasn't true. Right. Oh, okay. So it kind of messed with it there, but I def like it's definitely higher right now. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, the quest to fifty-four million dollars. Yeah. So also with this, I'm not sure. Did we do a podcast already about the paid performance? Yeah, that was the last one. 
Yeah. But just that we did three point two million in May and I think May went pretty smooth. What's shipping now? Uh six twenty five. Now right now it's six twenty five? Yeah. Did we like not change it? When? Because it says in February it was six twenty five too. We probably changed it before, like we probably changed it for the when do we when do we send the um the tease, the um the mystery thing? Okay, yeah, never mind. Then that 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 was February, like the week of February second. So I need to check. Before, January. Yeah, January. But um, I was just saying, like in May, we did three point two with little mess ups to- until towards the end of the month. Like May, like for us to do the biggest month, like it had to go pretty well because in the past we would never get the even get the three. Because of we we'll had to slow it down and regroup, right? But um, for us to do three point two, and we we made everything more efficient on this end. Three is gonna be a breeze. It's like we got paid performance now, where we have less staff to do the same amount of money. Yeah, and um, we implemented having the inventory here before we we sell it, which we we did like most of the month in May, but it's been. Certain times where we don't have everything in it linger, and then the following month we have to slow down. So for us to want to do three one month and three the following month right after, it comes with top to bottom all those systems. Yeah. In place. It was a five fifty. Five fifty. In January at least, but that means that we haven't changed it since like February. February. Yeah. So it's stayed at that six like it went up that dollar, and it stayed there. It was five fifty. It was five fifty in January, and then now it's what six twenty five. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we did. We raised the seventy five cents. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm excited to see if we can, you know, how next month is gonna go, and and a lot of this is us relying on actual customer base already, right? A good bit of it. It's gonna be a lot of ads too. Like, you think we're gonna need to do? You think we're gonna still need to do a three hundred thousand? And that? Probably. Maybe like maybe less, hopefully less. But what you think? I think we'll I think it'll I'm, I mean we I don't think we'll spend three we, we, I know we, we did we won't it with one like around two hundred thousand right. in May. So I don't see why I would just jump up to like three hundred thousand because of the help of like having new stuff and it's like what I was telling Tori is that it's like multiple new items. So usually when we would have a new thing, your average car value like stays like around the same average because you're just buying one thing or two things. But when we have like four, five new things, yeah, and, and I mean, the likelihood of people wanting to buy it all is like pretty high. Our prices are super low. Right. Yeah. And pe- I mean, just based off the, the data of the, of the last six months, people... Buy the same thing over and over, probably. And people will come and buy and then get another email and then come and buy something totally different. So over the course of the next 30 days, yeah, I'm just anxious to see. It's going to be reliant on us, like, having these consistent drops. and that can Consistent only drops, great content, like, good pictures, you know, to sell it. Um targeting like every like everybody gonna have to be clicking on all cylinders i mean at least at least for this first month once we get you know more data and um, we still so what's the what's the customer acquisition um goal like what's the what's the um what's the plan for that what do you mean 999 yeah everything yeah the whole thing is like so we're not veering away from it the only discount at all would be like the ad to like abandoned cart text and that could be whatever we want it to be but there yeah there isn't like a special customer acquisition offer it's just the idea that it's all new products that no one's seen but i mean if, yeah i mean it's ten dollars still attractive yeah yeah all right yeah we could go like if we have to we always could go back to the when we did 9.99 we did the fifteen percent off when we buy two items, or like we had certain ads like that yeah. where 
they got a good discount. Like they felt like they was getting even cheaper than what was already on the site, but it's not all the way down to five ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like a lot of room in between the two price points. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So let's get into these shoes. Yeah. So we have a. Uh, Three different versions of the same shoe, basically. It took a little a little while to get a final version that worked on all cylinders. The first the first time we got them, I don't know. I'm gonna show this camera, I guess. If you put it closer to you, it's probably better. Oh, uh, the print on them was like uh, it looked like someone tried to recreate it, kind of <laughs> thing, and didn't have the right font, and it, it was like a little fuzzy in the letters, and the shoe itself was good, but the print was wrong. So then we got a second sample, and the second sample, the print was perfect, but the shoe itself was, like, <laughs> different. Like, there was a little sloping going on here. The, the inside was, like, just funky. And yeah. what, what else? Was it? it was, like, the bottoms didn't, didn't, weren't the right bottoms, and they didn't have inside tags. So then this right. third, last sample... Everything seems to have come together. It's like the right sole. Yeah, I love them. The right, the right top. Uh, it's got a like nice leather on the inside, and the print looks perfect. Um, and so we have them. And they sent us these three colors, but it was after we put up the first sample pictures. The vote, was this the one? customer vote, was uh, black and white. Yeah. But I really like the red ones. These are too. my least favorite, I think, but they're also super cool. Yeah. I just like how the like the box on these. I just like the white box better than the black box. Yeah. But it, it's these, and we don't have the slides here, but then we're also experimenting with the slides. Those are the two products that came out the best out of these cut and sew runs because we also had ordered uh, leggings and uh, sports bra. Well, so what's, what's, what's the deal with these? Are we at a standstill or are we just not? I just We never decided on what sizes to order. The issue being that there have to be like unisex sizing. Yeah. So we just need to, I mean, we can order them. I'm, I'm cool with go. doing all women's shoes. Like, we, like 80% of our cut, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least for the first one, it makes sense if we just did, you know what I'm saying? All women's sizes. Say, hey, this is for the women. Just drop them and let What's let, the largest women's size you're going up to? I don't know. We would just have to like ask around, do a survey, see what's the largest women's size. Hmm. We got the biggest foot in here. That's like something women. I'm, just, I'm asking because because guys could. Uh, oh, finesse. Yeah, it yes. just happened with the off white Jordans this this last weekend. That they, they're women's size only, so everyone was like, if you had too big of a foot, it didn't work out. Oh, but so they, the, they oh, them was only like women's women, size. Yeah, they went up to like women's twelve or women's. 13 or something, which is like a men's 10. I think that's how it works. Oh, but, okay. But yeah, you could you could figure it out with <laughs> the right math. Wow. But yeah, there's also slides, so I guess we'll do that for both of them, just women's sizes. Yeah. Sounds good. Everything else was a little iffy. Nothing I was super crazy about, but... Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to draw this one out. Let us know what y'all think about the shoes in the comment section. Like, subscribe. Let us know what you think of uh, uh, the factory. The oh, yeah. Because anyone that's watching this has probably watched those. Yeah, maybe. Some people just like the podcast and don't have interest in other stuff that we do. But watch, watch the other stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, we're going to try to bring these to you once a week, man. If, if, if. We can definitely. Yeah, if if you don't get one every week, what's your at, Terry? What's your use? What's your Instagram name? Find Den Vision on Instagram, D E N N V I S I O N, on Instagram, and ask him, W T F. And that's, and he'll know he know he'll know what it means. Like, where's the podcast? Because people really like these podcasts. We just next one we need to plan it better because I, I do want to have value more podcasts like. Just talk about something like that. This is just an update. We're, we're just checking in. It's like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Every everyone is an update because <laughs> it's, it's like two so months long. in between. So Com- ma- comment like what you'd like us to talk about also because we're gonna come in and talk about what's going on here. But I'm sure there's like outside 
things yeah, like, we, we it, have opinions about. And, yeah, but even even stuff like now is like we so far past. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the introduction of t-shirts to where we could be talking over so many people here. You know what I'm saying? Like. Fifty four mil. You know what I'm saying? Like I want right. to. I want to hear. Like maybe we can talk about Tory's brand next time. You know what that's I'm saying? what I'm saying. For them to comment like issues or things that we can't um, have opinions about. Okay, you know, so that way it's they, like yeah, they'd be like more I can't figure out how to be relatable. Yeah. yeah, but even Tory's brand is still like you, we can't compare him to everybody else either because he's like in the accelerated class. Yeah, I was looking at uh, Tory's numbers the other day and I was showing him the numbers that I had from when I started God is Dope and I was like the numbers that Tory hits now is like the numbers that we were at like three and a half years ago. Yeah. Yeah. When like I had yeah. Yeah. Just started. <laughs> but Tori knows all the cheat codes now. Yeah. So the the growth there is That's what I'm saying. Had more than half. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So we need to we need to dumb it down a little bit. Not like, you know, talk about our stuff and then like go into like, you know, where we were sixteen I mean two thousand sixteen, two thousand fifteen. Cause yeah, that's what that's why people come watch the podcast because they can relate because one one half can be inspiring and one half can be informative yeah yeah definitely so let's just do a better job of format and just you know before we start let's just have five things to talk about you know mm-hmm. um but yeah peace out <laughs>